We are going to be drawing a rhinoceros and we are starting off by looking at this rhinoceros woodcut that Albrecht Dürer, a German artist, did in 1515. And I think it's important, um, we don't have time to go over all of the history of it, I can in a separate video, but he added a few embellishments of his own, which I think is important to point out. When we draw the rhinoceros, you don't have to do it exactly like a real rhinoceros is. You can add some of your own things to it, like maybe horns, maybe wings, maybe shoes. So here are the basics. The body of a rhinoceros is like a jelly belly. And I'm drawing this on watercolor paper because I'm gonna watercolor it in, but you don't have to. So the back kind of bends in to support this big belly. They have very large legs. You just are gonna draw a circle over the back part of your jelly belly and a circle over the front part of your jelly belly. The legs are basically a circle, a square, and a triangle, and then a half circle. So a square, a circle, a square, a triangle, and then a half circle for the feet. It may look like a robot rhino, but don't worry, we'll make it look like a actual rhino. Its neck, just draw a line straight off the body and bring it back in so it's kind of like a triangle. And then you're just gonna dip down and kind of curve around and come back in. Let's add some details to really make this robot look like a rhino. So put a horn at the end of his nose. Then you're gonna draw in his ears, which are right here where the neck meets the head. And they're just kind of like the shape of a leaf. There's one in front and one behind. His eye comes back from his nose. It's like a little rainbow. His nose is also a little rainbow. Now if you want to make the eye look like it's open, they have very small eyes. So you can just put another little rainbow underneath and you can add one on the top and on the bottom if you want it to be wrinkled. Now this particular rhino doesn't look too happy so I'm just going to make a bump and then curve it up again. Well, don't forget the tail comes off of the end and there's a little leaf shape at the bottom. Okay. Now let's go over it with a marker really quickly. Before we go over this with marker, you might want to think of how you want to change this rhinoceros. I'm just going to give him a hat that's going to come up like this. I'm going to kind of just put some lines here. I'm going to erase this back ear because I don't want to see it. Then I'm going to give him an apron. So I'm just going to put a line coming up over his back with a ribbon. And the apron's just gonna kind of drip, dip down right there. So here I have my chef rhino. Okay, now when you trace over it with a darker marker, you can use pen. I'm just doing this so that it shows up more and I want you to see that you're not gonna trace over all of these lines. So I'm just gonna start at the tail. Draw up and over the back. I'm going to draw this bow. I'm going to draw in the apron but with the legs I don't want to draw in these lines because those were just to help me draw it out so I'm going to keep them there but not not draw over them and we're just going to erase them later the black marker really really helps him to stand off from the background and when you add color it's not just gonna make all of your lines disappear that you want to keep if you wanted him to look older, you know, you could add more wrinkles. Just erase out all of your pencil lines. You can add color however you want. I'm gonna quickly paint it in by making gray, which is a lot of water with a tiny little black mixed in. Okay, if you're worried about your black being too dark, just try it out on another piece of paper. You don't want it to be too dark that you can't see any of your wrinkles or any of the nice lines that you've made. Just go ahead and just quickly paint it in with your gray. Any brush will do. I just wouldn't use a humongous brush that makes it hard um, to get in these corners and not paint over your other lines. So it's really easy to make a little shadow under him. Just get the same gray and you're just gonna make like a line going all the way under, even out to his face like this. So I'm just getting the same gray that I used to paint the rhinoceros with and I'm gonna add some shadows underneath. And if you go over your color with the same color, it's just gonna make it a little bit darker. Not much. Maybe add a few little shadows here and there. If you want, you can get a little bit of a light blue 
And you can add some shadows on these white things like his hat, his apron, and add just a little bit of a shadow and I'm just using water that has a tiny, tiny little bit of blue paint in it. Okay, and there I have my rhino. So I hope you enjoy this exercise. I love doing this when talking about Albrechter. And have a wonderful day. I hope to see you soon on YouTube.